I am convinced that when the people of the community understand the unbelievably unknown nature of the dangers, tampering with millions of years of evolution, they'll say no. The press has reported the concern of many of us in this nation about the ways in which some contemporary scientists seem to us to be playing God. We have been engineering life for thousands of years. Through selective breeding, we've been able to choose favorable characteristics, but we've never really understood how it worked until we discovered the blueprint of life. DNA, a complex molecule that carries the genetic instructions for development and function in all known living organisms. Four nucleotides within the structure of DNA make up a code that programs life. If you change the code, you change the program. Once we learned how DNA worked, we started to mess with it. First we used radiation to induce a random mutation, then later on we've learned that the secret to high efficiency genome editing was the ability to make a targeted break in the DNA that broke through both strands. Broken ends in DNA go through one of two paths. The first is non-homologous end joining. Non-homologous end joining is when the two broken ends are rejoined. Occasionally, errors can be made that lead to small insertions and deletions, creating mutations in a gene and often inactivating it. The second is homology-directed repair, where a donor sequence matching the target is copied. If the donor sequence were to change, then the gene itself would change. These findings have led to revolutionary new and accurate technologies such as CRISPR-Cas9. CRISPR-Cas9 requires um, basically three components. We need a Cas9 enzyme, we need a guide RNA, and we need a piece of DNA to cut. And we can uh, predict where we're going to cut and design where we're going to cut by designing that guide RNA to bind specifically to a 20 base pair sequence just about anywhere in the genome. CRISPR is so affordable and easy to use that you can now tweak the DNA of bacteria at home with the CRISPR kit you can buy online. We're at the dawn of something new. What will happen 20 or 30 years from now? Right now, it's possible and have it has been done um, to uh, alter genes for individuals who have, for example, an X-linked muscular dystrophy. Boys or men only have one X chromosome, and if they have a mutation in an X-linked gene, then they suffer from that muscular dystrophy, for example. So by introducing a functional copy of the gene at the locus, where that mutation exists, it's possible to actually fix the gene. We'll have to be careful with the technology, but I think the good that it can do for society is very powerful and we shouldn't discount that. Genes interact in ways that we don't fully understand, and there could be unintended consequences. New diseases that result from our tinkering. But even if the science could be perfected, is it morally wrong? Is it unjust to deprive our children of every scientifically possible opportunity? A world free of genetic diseases may be closer than you think.